Really, thank you. Well, Houstonians know our town is very special. There are many communities, many neighborhoods, so rich in culture and vibrant. We are dedicating ourselves to embedding inside 10 of our communities this yeah. year. We started with Our Town, this series in the A-Leaf Westwood area. And if you've been watching today, you know all of our platforms are focused on Sunnyside in that awesome community. The Sunnyside neighborhood is one of the most underserved parts of the city, but that's not stopping the folks who live there from thriving. We find KPRC 2's Lisa Hernandez and Andy Sirota in Sunnyside. You two have been out there all day. Tell us what's in store for this hour. Yes. You know, we want to start first, Keith and Daniela, by saying thank you to the community. We've been out here all afternoon. It's really been an educational experience for us on one hand, and we're so grateful for the folks who've walked up and driven up to even just pitch us story ideas, comment on our coverage, and we're honored to tell some of the positive stories that are happening right here in Sunnyside. Yeah, it's been a really great way to showcase community spirit yeah. in a way that resonates and reflects, as you said, a lot of the positive aspects right. of life in this community. Mm -hmm. There are quite a few different projects taking place right now in Sunnyside. In fact, there's a project that was greenlit by the city of Houston that's weeks away from breaking ground and breaking records. Yes, we were talking about a 240-acre plot of land that used to be a big old eyesore here in Sunnyside that's about to become the country's largest urban solar farm. Gage Golding checks it out. In Sunnyside, there's a plan to use the biggest and brightest part of the community, the sun. It's in the name after all, right? This project is on a mega scale, the largest urban solar farm in the country. And look, it's a first for the city of Houston too, a chance to turn what was a dump into dollars. You know, and I remember as a child coming to the dump with my dad. It's a sight many lifelong Houstonians remember. The smell, the mounds of trash, and the blight this old landfill right off Highway 288 brought to Sunnyside. There are uh, traditionally dumps in black communities, and this is going to transform that into something that is going to be very significant for the community. A transformation from a dark mark in Sunnyside's history to the biggest and brightest urban solar farm in the nation. Where these trees stand now, row after row of solar panels will soon lie this land. In all, they'll produce 52 megawatts of electricity, enough clean energy to power five to 10,000 homes. It's also estimated that it will remove about 120 million tons of carbon from the air. Is there anything like this in the city of Houston? No. <laughs> we answered that together. A first of its kind to Houston, and it's not just bringing light to your house, it's bringing life to Sunnyside. A two megawatt portion of the farm will be designated as the community solar. That means money made from those two megawatts watts of energy will help pay electric bills for those who can't afford them. Now, there won't be anybody's house directly connected to it, but they will get like credits on their bills, for example. And that's just the start. The company building the solar farm, Clean Capital, will also pay the city of Houston rent for the land. A portion of that lease payment will go back to the community as well. While the power might travel outside of Sunnyside, the money and even more benefits will stay right here. They're looking to have an ag hub as well and a food source for people because, you know, this is area is considered to be a food desert, food insecure. The project is about a month and a half behind schedule. Clean Capital blaming high interest rates, preventing them from getting final financing. The city says Clean Capital is also looking for a buyer of the solar power, but if the sailing stays smooth. It will probably be mid next month, April, before it kicks off. Building the site will take it upwards of a year and a half, and those workers could be from right here in Sunnyside. We're playing on a landing for people how to build a solar farm out. Ephraim Jernigan and his group, the South Union Community Development Corporation, is giving locals hands-on training, experience, and know-how. I believe in freedom. We should all be free to get education. That means if you learn a certain trade that we're teaching, your economics become your sunshine. Clean Capital telling me they've held three different training programs. Their goal is to hire at least 10% of the workforce needed to build and maintain this solar farm from the Sunnyside community. Opportunity will be spelled S-U-N-N-Y-S-I-D-E. And now we truly have everybody having sunshine in Sunnyside. Sunshine in Sunnyside, a change that so many along these storage streets are welcoming with a bright smile. In Sunnyside, Kate Scolding, KPRC2 News. Incredible. Incredible to see all that underway. Gage Golding, thank you so much for your reporting. Uh, Andy, as we work to bring everyone this coverage.